so bright It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. This is my 2000 MR2 Spider. And today we're going to be installing not something on the interior, even though it's beautiful in here. If you guys haven't watched the last video, please check that out. I'll be installing something that I got from my friend who's always giving me good stuff. It's a TRD, a genuine TRD front strut bar. Now this is made of chromoly. Super light, super strong. Look how thick this thing is. This is way better than you know a lot of the Cusco ones out there, Tanabe, Ultra Racing, those kind of things. This is a really, really good product. And as you guys know, in the MR2 community, in the Toyota community in general, these go for a really, really hefty premium. So um, I was lucky enough to get my hands on this. Thank you so much, Kung. Um, he's always the one taking photos for my car. He has that white Lotus swapped, um, genuine Lotus drivetrain. 2cc swapped MR2 and um, he is selling that one so if you guys are interested I'll put his Instagram right here but in the meantime I'm being selling this onto my car I did get some other parts um, for my car for the future from him but I'm gonna go ahead and open the front with these pins right here that kind of turn gold after a while but look at this boom so cool I'll go ahead and open up the front or the, the front hood right here and install the straw bar it's a pretty easy process Let's go ahead and open this. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Alright, as you guys can see, that S3 suspension with the adjustable dampeners I usually have the knobs for. I don't do it because my car fiber hood this is this carbon fiber it hits against here um, We can adjust the camber right here. You remove these 12 millimeter nuts up front and then you can go ahead and mount the strut bar. Um, so I'm pretty excited here. I heard it makes a huge difference, but um, you know I haven't driven this car in a while. These are the C1 eyelids, genuine fiberglass eyelids. So a lot of you guys asked me about those. I did make a video on those. Um, so check that out on my channel. But we can go ahead and remove these three bolts and install it. Um, you do mount it over this um, this plate right here. This is supposed to make it so it doesn't go through the strut tower, um, the bracing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and put it on. Now, if you do have a frunk, sometimes the stock frunk, it doesn't fit with the TRD strut bar. I believe it doesn't in general. So you have to do some cutting or something like that. But in my situation, I don't as long, I won't have any problems as long as it clears the cam pause this Lotus hood vent that I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. Alright, now a lot of strut bars don't fit really properly with the holes. I remember on my Civic SI EP3, I had to like smash that thing onto it because it didn't line up properly. But one thing about TRD is that you mount it. And it's a guaranteed perfect fit. Look at that. Oh my god. And with those um, plates underneath, it sits flush with the ground here. So um, the only bad part is you can't access the camera very well. So, but it's, like I said, very easy three bolts. Um, and this thing fits perfectly. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I always wanted one of these. And I already know it's going to make the biggest difference. Let's just make sure it clears with the hood here. Um, and uh, put it down. All right, guys, moment of truth. Oh, I don't think it's getting clear, guys. It hits against. Dun, dun, dun. You can't mount it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see where it's hitting. Ooh, it's hitting against the back of here. Very aggressive. Ooh, wow. Well, you know, you know what that means, guys. I will have to go for 
one of those other car fiber hoods, the one with the one vent. I'll put a picture on the screen. But yeah, very interesting. Let's install it anyways. <laughs> All right guys, so unfortunately this is the lowest the hood's gonna go. Really can't push any further, but let's enjoy that product. Oh my gosh, look at that security. Ooh. All right, now the circuit car fiber hood, um, as well as the Lotus Campos hood fan will be for sale. I do have someone that I'm in contact with that wants to buy it. But if that goes through, just message me on Instagram and go ahead and sell this one to you. A lot of you guys ask me about it all the time. Um, but man, this thing is beautiful. Let's go ahead and do some cinematics here. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. how good that looks and I already know it's gonna be so stiff. Even when you push down this, it doesn't move at all. When, when you go to the rear, uh, this has my K24 by the way, it's not running, but when you go to the rear, it's the Cusco. This one flexes up and down, but that tier one doesn't move at all. And it's probably lighter than the Cusco. So, super, super nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will have, uh, if you guys want to buy this, I'm not sure if they even sell it right now. I'm pretty sure they don't discontinued but it's really really hard to get um it's super expensive if you guys do find on the facebook uh, group chats or anything like that they usually go for around you know from 300 to 500 dollars um now you can sometimes get a good deal but um that is a tier strut brace now as you can see it doesn't fit with my hood i believe that you should be able to fit other hoods this one's just really aggressive the way it comes down because uh, it's custom i did it myself it's for usually for the sw20 or lotuses but um, it sits up pretty high and it sits pretty forward. A lot of the strut bars, they go up near the cowl um, to clear the frunk, but this one does not. And it does block um, the clutch and brake master reservoirs up there. So keep that in mind. It also does block your camera plates. So also keep that in mind. This is a really beefy setup. I um, mean, you probably have to remove from most access, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I will be in the process of trying to get this car running. I'm in contact with a few different people here, but uh, it's just electrical gremlin. Hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out and let your passion drive you.